Hi guys, so I've just had a delivery of the new Jura Slip Elastic Come Fruit Door. So I thought this is as good a time as any to run you through how to elasticate a top kit as well as a bit of the information about the new Jura Slip Hybrid Elastic. So it's a hybrid elastic as it says and it comes in ranges size from 5 all the way up to 19. So all bases covered from the canals, F1s, right up to big cart down the edge. It comes in 3 metre lengths and it is only 5 99 which really good price. So as a hybrid elastic it has the properties of a solid elastic and a hollow elastic. So it's stretchy like a hollow elastic but it's got the durability and low diameter as a solid elastic. Meaning that like when you're using it on pulls it don't wear as fast but it's still really stretchy and you're less likely to get hook pulls. Awesome elastic. So these are the elastics that I'm going to be putting in today. I've got a 5, a 7 and a 9. This covers the range of fishing that I'm doing at the moment. So canals, small F1s, shallow fishing. Use a 5 for like my roach over on pinkies and ground bait. My 7 and 9 will do for the bream or bigger roach. And then I can also use the 7 and 9 for fishing at like Lindome, shallow fishing for F1s or I'm on beaches tomorrow and there's a lot of hide in there. So I'm going to give this a whirl and see how it goes. I reckon it'll be perfect for what I want it for. So first things first, we've got to thread the elastic through the top kit. Um, easy enough if you've got nothing in, but if you've got old elastic in, don't think you've got to pull it out. Tie your new elastic to the old elastic and just pull the bottom and it threads through. And I'm just going to thread the elastic through. It's nice and dry. And go straight in. that through and before I go any further I'm just going to tie my dacron bead on the end just so I can pull it through and not having to worry about pulling the elastic all the way through. So this is how I connect the dacron, so one of them to the elastic. A good friend of mine Dave Brown showed me this trick and it's transformed honestly it's it's good. So if you bend over the elastic like that put it through the slit of the dacron so and then the little bead up. You just pull that and then when you open it, the dacron's on. So once that's on, what you want to do then is tie a couple of overhand knots just in the end of the elastic. I like to do two, wet it a little and just pull it down creating a, a little knot. Then if you slide the bead up, pull it down tight and it pulls up to the to the knot and there you go so that's now sat against the knot don't know if you can see that and then as you pull it down pull the bead in as so and then just trim off that tag and there you have it that's never going to pull off nice and neat and if we pull the other end that should just sit nicely like that. So now I'll thread it through the, the number two kit. You can see all Preston kits have the, the nose comb with a line with a elastic aligners in. That just prevents the elastic from sticking to the inside of the top kit. Don't know if you've ever had it where it, it sticks and it pulls. That helps prevent that, so it's really good. And then once it's through, I am going to put this on a, a puller kit. So that's already pre-cut, just sits in there like that. This is for if I hook any bigger fish on the canal, so I'll be using the five millions of bagging rig. So I want to get the rig down on the bottom, um, so it's fishing a lot quicker. If I do hook a bigger fish, I can just a couple of pulls on the elastic, tighten it up, and it just saves a little bit of time. There you go. So just place the elastic in the middle of the nose cone. Just let it run down. It being a bit thicker, it usually goes a bit quicker. Once 
so that's free light to put the top kit together. That way. And then just spread on your puller bum. Make sure your elastic's pulled tightish, just so your puller bung don't trap the elastic in there. And that's that. So now all the elastic's threaded through the top kit, I'm gonna add a little bead to the end to stop it pulling through. So when it's through, if you just cut your elastic where it's still slack, I've got a little bead here, I don't know if you can see that, it's just got a little hole through it. So that's when you need your diamond eye threader. Just put that through the bead, just so, uh, grab your end of the elastic, pull it up and just thread it onto the bead, so now your bead's sat there, you get your tension so I like to pull it just so it goes back in, like that, so that holds, and now just tie a little couple of overhand knots on there and wet them down. As you can see, that's like a crow's foot now, so the bead's never going to pull pull over that, so you can trim that one there and trim them two there, and that just sits like that, as you can see, perfect and goes back in. With this little bit of elastic that's left, what I like to do is just make a little hook tie to hold my top kits in, so if you put that on there, fold the top kit over, yeah, put it like that, not only does it show me what elastic I've got in the top kit without having to pull the ends, it also holds the top kit together while it's in my, my top kit tube to stop them all getting mixed up, so there you go, finished product.